Hey Internet, Justin here. In this video, I'm going to give you guys a quick walkthrough of the Mailbox application. It's brand new, it's for iOS, it's supposed to change the way you manage mail. I've been using it for about a week. Um, I really actually do like it. I've turned off my actual mail application. And uh, I like some of the things it does, but I'll have the full review in a little bit. Um, probably about a week. So I've already typed one up, and this video will be attached to that, but I'll make a review video just uh, to talk a little more about it. Um, so we're going to open it up right now. That 12 you saw was actually 12 in your inbox. It's not 12 actually unread messages. So it changed how I managed mail. Um, you can read about that in the blog post below. So basically you have your inbox, you have your later, which basically allows you to deal with uh, things later. So I got that for a meeting later. Um, and you might see some occasional things blurred in this video due to personal information when I review it. So Because email is pretty personal. And uh, yeah, I don't... I like you guys, but you don't need to know everything about me. <laughs> so, and then we have archived, which has basically a bunch of archived uh, items. So, so let's just hop over here to uh, the menu, um, per se, I guess. And then we have mailbox, we have later, we have lists. Um, as you can see, I've made a couple of my own. It comes with to watch, to read, and to buy. Um, important shit and work problems and finance and all that. Receipts is actually one of the most used um, for tax purposes. Um, at least that's what I'm dedicated to now. Um, so you can see all this. this. These lists are pretty cool. Um, I'll show you the swipe gestures in a moment. Um, when you first download the app, it actually shows you all the swipe gestures, which is pretty nice. Um, like, you, like I said, we have archive, we have trash, we have sent. Um, I guess we can go. <laughs> all right, so most of that was probably pretty blurred, or I just cut it out completely. Sorry. <laughs> Sent's a little personal. Um, dealing with a bunch of lease stuff at the moment. Um, settings. Basically, under settings, you can add multiple Gmail accounts. Um, you can have add signatures. It comes with the default signature. It says sent from the mailbox app. I thought that was freaking stupid. I don't really like signatures that say, oh, sent from my iPhone. It, I think it means you care less, but I guess that's just personal. You have lists, so you can edit your lists and create a new list. You can do this throughout the app in multiple fashions. Um, we have snoozes. Um, so basically, you can adjust when it says at the beginning of the day, or if you want to remind yourself in the morning or on the weekends. Um, or at the end of the work day, and then later today is like at three hours, etc. And you can adjust all these for personal preferences. So if you're like later today would be in like an hour, then you can do that. So sync preferences, um, you can mark archived as read. So basically, if you don't read the email and you're just like, ha, throw this to archive, you throw it to archive, which I'll show you in a little bit, and uh, it just marks it as read as well. Um, unstar moved items. So basically, when you move an item to a list or something, the stars do disappear. So basically, that means your important message is now organized. I like it. Um, notifications. This is the one I turned off um, for new messages. I don't like being notified every time I have a new message. It's annoying as so. hell. I like dealing with all my email, maybe twice, three times a day, and that's it. So unless I'm actually waiting for something, I don't want to be notified. So I just turn that off. For snooze messages, those are important because I might have to deal with it that day. And so I like to be notified of that. Um, the app badge count, this is kind of cool. You can have it show a one for just new messages. Um, you can show the inbox count, which I currently have it doing. And you can show not at all. So a couple options right there. I'm mostly doing this video to show those who are on the waiting list, because I know it's pretty long. It's probably close to a million people right now. Um, you know, so they can get a little taste of it. So back to the inbox here. Um, we have send mail. So that's pretty basic. <laughs> you can attach a photo. That's about it. Um, if you have any, if you have to deal with any major attachments, that was a weird green flash on my thing. Anyways, if you have to deal with any major attachments, um, I would recommend doing that via the Gmail app online or a mail app on your Mac. Or if you have a PC, I guess you can do it with Outlook too. So, um, so basically, we're just going to go through a couple messages here. Hopefully you don't see too many things blurred out via personal information, but I saved a couple new ones here for you guys. Um, so we got some G-Easy, uh, some G-Easy videos and news. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll read that later. So we're going to, as my phone slides around, this desk is pretty slippery. So we're just going to swipe that to the left, and we're going to put it under to read. So that's kind of how you throw something to a list. Um, Groupon, you know what, I don't care about that at the moment. Um, yeah, I don't care about Groupon either. Free shipping today only. Yeah, I'm not going to order anything today, so I'm just going to delete this. Um, we have my financial account summary, so I will look at that later today. There you go. Um, do some old stuff. 
Here's a network oppor uh, opportunity. I'm going to read this. Um, how about we'll say we'll say tomorrow. We'll read that. Um, yeah, so basically, I'm chilling down here now at the very bottom. It says I have six left in my inbox, and I can do this cool thing where I can take all of them, and I can remind me all later, or I can archive or delete all of them. As you notice, the, the archive and delete just kind of, they're like real close. And then I could also just turn them all into a list. So, oh, I don't want to do that. So you can tap away from that. Um, one thing I do want to note here is that it's pretty cool to... Uh, 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 I don't want that. Oh, and you drag it down like that to sync the mailbox too. Um, is when you throw something into trash, you can you can instantly look at trash, and it'll show it by the amount or by when you dragged it to the trash. It's a weird way to word that. Um, so basically, um, basically I just threw the American Eagles outfitters into trash. But as you notice, there's some in May that are before February. So because when I was going through all my uh, old crap um, and archiving and stuff, I went through seven thousand messages. Just flying through them, which was pretty cool. Um, I archived them, or I archived and deleted them in this order. So basically, if you delete something, it'll be at the top. Um, you don't have to sift through to find it. Uh, that's basically the gist of what I was just saying. Um, archive, same thing as trash. Depending on when you delete it, is where it'll appear, or archive it, it is where it'll appear in the list. So that's pretty much the basic walkthrough. Um, Sorry that most of that's blurred at the moment, but uh, that's the mailbox. It's really simple. It's really quick. It's really effective. Um, it changed the way I did email, so I'll talk a little more about that in my review video. Um, and not like the app itself changed me, but the concept of the app changed the way I did email. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing, and uh, hopefully I'll see you in another video.